What's rock climbing to me? Rock climbing to me is one word I can say, passion. I love it. It's it's more than just a sport to me. To me, it's a, a relaxation of life. Antidepressant, pretty much. It just, when I climb, all my whatever I'm thinking about that puts me down, it just shoots out the back of my mind, and I just, it's just me in the wall, or me in the boulder. And that's just the best thing about it. I, uh, a lot of people, they'll think when they say climb, like I'm a climber, and they'll, uh, They'll be like, you climb, it's, climbing's easy. No, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's actually hard. It can be really hard. <laughs> and it can be really, really annoying when you, when you, I just drooled here. It can be really, really annoying when you don't get that route. And that's how you know it's a passion to you. When you get upset because you can't complete a route, a climb, and a route is like a climbing, like a climbing route, like climbing communists or whatever that would be a route if you don't know and sometimes when I don't do it when I can't climb it this thing is so full I keep spilling it but whenever I climb and I can't finish this this route and I work on it for days and days and days and I can't get it, it drives me insane but uh, I think I just saw a snowflake oh well but that's how you know it's something that you live for it's something that you love if, you're, if you get actually down about because you can't finish your route, then then you love that stuff. You love that shit. That's what you live for. That's what I live for. I love it. It's one thing that I can do forever. It's what I will be doing forever. I'll probably die on the cliff, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Like I'm just saying. Uh, do a lot of free songs, so. But people say, always say, what if you die when you do that? Well, just know that I died happy. I died doing the one thing in my life that I love doing, and that's climbing. I love it. So, don't think that I died scared or miserable. Maybe I was scared, but man, who knows, man. But just know, even though if I am scared, I still love it. It's a certain fear that you, that you just like. It's, I don't know, it's weird. I had to I had to lay down on doing free soloing as much. So I took a big fall, like a 15 to 25 foot fall. I think it was between there somewhere, and it was free climbing. So I fell. I hurt myself. I didn't get as badly hurt as I should have, but it made me to uh, step back and like, hey man, I'm only 23 years old. I want to do some more climbing in different places in the world. I don't want to die yet. <laughs> I gotta wait till I at least climb in Thailand and Italy, and then uh, I don't give a fuck after. If I can climb in Thailand, do some some uh, deep water soloing there and in Italy, my life would be perfect. That would, that's all I want to do. I don't care if I get to do it just for one day. But if I do it, I only have to do it for one day. Good luck fun because I'll be running away. <laughs> so I'm kidding on that. But I want to try out for some bouldering competitions, but I, uh, I'm not ready for that yet definitely not ready for it yet. Um, that's why I want summer to come so I can do the outdoor training and do the stuff that made me good. You know? it's, I thrive about the outdoor training. The indoor climb is all right, but every time I'm practicing on roots, I'm practicing them, I get them, and then I, I just like climbing them, or I end up practicing on one and I'm always stuck on it. And then I go like a couple days later or a week after and it's gone and like they change the roots around and stuff, which is alright. Like I'm not complaining like I am complaining, but I'm not gonna really like it's it's the way the gym goes. It's not my gym, you know, like fuck it. But then I'm like, oh, I spent all those days, all those days <laughs> trying to climb this route. And I come back and it's gone! It's gone! It was like yesterday when I went, uh, there's a there's a route that's been there ever since like when I started going there this season, this uh, this past winter. It's been there every day I went, and then yesterday it was gone. And I was like, no, I love climbing. It's like an overhang, and the way I climb is I'm under it and I jump so I dive myself up and I grabs it. I grabs the hole that's up there. There's the ledge here, and it goes like this, 
and you're under here and the hole is here. I jumps out and grabs there and it swings in and catches it with my feet here and then I climb up. I don't know if you understood that, but that's that's what that's pretty much what it's like. And <laughs> a couple whippy wops in there, but and it was gone. And there was another one where there was a sick dino that I used to do. Actually, it's in one of my videos too. One of my other kind of videos. One of the first or second time videos. I don't know if it's called Climb Time Fun Time. It's probably in there. Or it's in the, no, it's in the first climbing, uh, Walnut Climbing Center. I think that was the video it's called. I don't know. It's in there somewhere. But there's a nice dino that I do in there. And that was there for a while. And then they took that out. <laughs> and I was like, damn! I enjoy this. But then you just develop different routes. You find different routes, like you do those routes, and you like doing those ones, so those become new ones that you like doing, and so on, you know? Like, that's it. My chalk bag's getting so... I'm gonna throw that over here. Petzl, ladies and gentlemen, Petzl. Why do I prefer outdoor climbing than indoor climbing? Because, well, okay. I love the outdoor climbing because I love the tranquility of the peacefulness. You got nobody around you, not all the time. And you go to the gym, I go there in the morning as soon as it opens and um, there's not as much people there. But you go there and there's, there's people there, there's those kids that run around and they scream and they shout and stuff and you just get headaches. And, and that's that's not the bad thing but it's just i just like the natural i like the fact that you got to find your own roots you make up your own roots and you go there and like i was saying before how they change the roots and stuff the, all your spots and build roots never change unless somebody comes along and chips it away and stuff but no and it's just the natural rock i like more i just First time I climbed was on natural rock and I loved it ever since. So here I am, four years later. I love the outdoor training. And I'm like, I can do the same trainings that you can do in the gym outside at some spots that I go to. And that's all right, man. Like, I can just practice my crimps on overhangs or practice my jugs and hangs or my dead hangs or whatever, my Frenchies, whatever, right? Whatever. But pretty much to answer that question is I like the the peacefulness. Just uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? The uh, the isolation. I, the isolation. Not having anybody around. Like I'm here. The road's there, but there's no people that walk by. There's nobody that hikes here, so I don't have to worry about people coming by. And, and excuse me. And when I climbs like free climbs, like like cliffs and stuff, like around a single hill. There's people that watch him, like, they love it. But they're always screaming, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, stuff like that, and taking pictures and that, like, they take the pictures, I don't mind. It's whenever they're yelling to don't fall, like, when I hear that, it's like, stop yelling, that. you're distracting me, you know? And yeah, but I never ended up falling in front of a bunch of tourists anyway, so that's good. <laughs> Oh, that was so good, guys. So good. But not good that we didn't get to climb. What is up with that? What is up with that? Damn. Uh. Wind's picking up a bit. How much battery life is on there? I can't see. Oh, one bar. Okay. My arse is... Ah, oh, let's take it with me. Oh.